But we also have state and physiology. So the state is something we get into, and the physiology changes. So as I was sort of walking into the room here, it's fine, I'll have a cup of tea, you know, there's two minutes to go. <laughs> then it's in your stomach, and it's like, well, I stand up, and you have a nice, happy group. It's like, well, is it going to go right? What's going to happen? And so your state changes. And the thing for me is I step out of state, sort of take it from a third position, look at myself, look at the group, and then, you know, you're comfortable. Take a few breaths, and you can change your state immediately. Um, but this just doesn't work, you know, for a lot of people say they do this, you know, athletes do it especially. And it's like, you know, do all the visualisation and then step into it. But we can do this now. We can do this at any opportunity. And we do have a choice. But it's that recognition and it's that managing self to accept that we have a choice that really starts to move us forward. So, if you want to change your state, change your physiology. You know, if the meeting's going pear-shaped, we've all been in them, if the argument's going on, step out. Change your state. Do something completely different. You know, kick your shoes off. Um, Rip a piece of paper up. It's something that you don't naturally do that immediately can help change your state, and that can change the way you begin to perceive things and look at things. So, an associated state is when you're present. So, I might say, well, I'm present now. Um, the disassociation is when I sit in some of my colleagues' lectures, I dissociate. I turn off, you know, I go somewhere else. And we all do it, and it's very useful. And the funny thing is that, you know, we say, well, it's okay. And then the Catholics do it. You know, people will stand up and they will say, you know, I achieved the pinnacle of my career because I ran the race before I ran the race. And people say, oh, that's great, you know, because you've got an Olympic medal, it's fine for you to do that. But actually saying to people, it's okay to do it in, you know, in everyday situations, and just sort of step out and see yourself, and see the interaction, uh, people say, oh, that's a bit bloody cuckoo, that. But, you know, Olympic athletes do it. Lots of people do it in business applications. And for me, it's about sort of beginning to perceive things from different positions. Um, that opens up solution opportunities for us.